Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with the Real Estate Technology Institute and today I want to show you how to hide connections on LinkedIn. I also want to show you how to remove connections. Now let's start with the first item, hiding connections. It's not something I really want you to do, but there are certain people that have accepted connection requests from their competitors and then they can look back and think, wait a minute, that person can see all of my connections that I've worked hard to actually acquire. So is there a way to hide them? Sure there is, so let's show you how to do it and then you can make your decision later if you really wanna do that. You'll actually go to your face and go to privacy and settings and click on manage. Come down a little ways, privacy. And then under privacy, you can see who can see your connections. Click change. Come down a ways, and now you're getting to choose who actually sees your connections. And you should also note that people will still be able to see connections who endorse you and connections they share with you. But as a general rule, you can see if you click here, you can change this feature to who can see your connections, only you. If that's your option, click here. Next, I want to show you how to remove a connection. You certainly reserve the right to change your mind. Let me show you the best way to do it. Simply go to My Network and click on Connections. Find the connection you want to delete. Click on their name. Come down until you find the person. You can tag them, message them, or remove. Now, notice that when you remove the connection, you'll lose your relationship notes, the ability to send messages, notifications about job changes, updates and shared content, and more importantly, all endorsements and, and recommendations exchange between the two of you will be dissolved. And that's important to note. Now, not only that, but whoever deletes the connection is the only one who can initiate back the connection. So make sure you understand that as well. Click on remove and you're off to the races. Once you select connections, filter by connections only, and you can see you'll get to the remove option right here. That's another way to do it. I hope this tip helps. If there are other topics you'd like us to discuss, just let us know. This is Wanita McDowell, signing off.